Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am one super hyped girly. I have made a purchase from Kaleidos. It's a pretty, pretty hefty box. I haven't actually opened it yet, so I'm really hoping everything's there. Um, I made this order a couple of weeks ago, maybe beginning of February actually, beginning of Feb, and then it took Oh, yeah beginning of Feb maybe and then it took a while to get to me it does I've had this in my possession for about a week and I'm not gonna lie I've literally just opened the box and just checked that it was the Kaleidos and it was you can see everything is still pretty packed in there normally I go through my boxes and I just check everything is in here before I sit down and film but today I thought let's just dive in first impressions let's just do it all. I basically wanted to pick up all the pieces that I haven't got from Kaleidos yet, flesh out my collection. Kaleidos are one of my favourite brands, but I feel like um, before Christmas, I was kind of just like, not in the creative space to try out new stuff and you know have fun with it all but as you can probably tell I've been on like a whole binge recently of just like buying everything. It's not cute, it's not cute. I think I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to do something. Maybe like quarter one of the year can be Megan's depressive spending period. We're gonna have to rain in a bit because it's getting rough it's getting rough i also wanted to pick this up quite quickly because i have a feeling that colliders are going to release something soon like in the next month or so because they released those powders and the contour powders i didn't pick those up just because i was like i don't really need them they weren't making me excited um and i have the old one <clears throat> But they released those a couple of months ago, and I feel like we haven't seen anything lately. And they released those liquid lipsticks, which I don't think I picked up. If I did, I can't remember. Um, and again, I I just feel like something's coming. A good eyeshadow palette is on its way. That's how I feel. I feel like Kaleidos are going to push something out soon. And I want to flesh out my collection before that comes. So, did I justify that to myself? Hell yeah. I've got two things up here. I think this is, I know that's the fan. Uh, so we'll open that in a second. And this is, oh maybe I did pick up the lipsticks what is that oh it's a knitted bag did I put this in my cart I mean it's absolutely adorable and I will probably wear this oh how cute oh it's actually adorable I love it let's just get out the fan whilst we're here because why not am I doing this wrong oh how cute oh nice oh Kaleidos, Kaleidos. Lovely, I love it. Look how pretty that is, I love it. Let's pop it in the knitted bag, why not? Oh my God, the knitted bag has a popper? I thought it was just an open thing. It has a popper! Sorry, it's the small things in life that get me. I don't even know where to begin, to be honest, but I wanna go here. Yeah, I've got two liquid lipstick sets. I don't think I picked up the new ones. Did I just completely miss them? So this is the Mercy lip clay kit and this is the Trophy lip clay kit. I'll be honest, I have the other two, sort of the original two um, boxes and I think these tins are actually adorable. Look at the detail on these tins. Like these are so stunning. Honestly, like, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at this. I could just look at these all day. Like they're such beautiful keepsake tins as well. Inside, oh my god, it just even gets even better. You've got these beautiful four colours here. I will swatch everything. I always swatch everything and I'll do it as like a montage so you can see everything up close. And then I'll quickly like rank it all at the end. But look how beautiful these are. This is like the more obscure set. So you've got like a dark colour there and then like a pinky colour and then like two nudie sandy shades. And this one, the trophy kit. Oh damn, these are like dark and vampy. You've got like a blue, a red. A black I think like I said I'll swatch it all but these are really damn pretty so you've got like, the dark version and the light version I'll probably use this one more often than not but I really do like having the option if I'm perfectly honest and I like the clay loss lip clay formula it's like a soft matte I wouldn't say it's like a drying matte at all it is just literally like a soft cushiony matte I don't know why I'm like pressing my lips like I've got one on I haven't but they're really really nice so we'll swatch them out in a second I've got quite a lot in here so I just want to get through it and show it to you first Next up, should we have this white thing? What is this? Oh, damn! So these are their colour shifting liners. I'm really hyped for these because I'm trying to not use the word excited because all I say is I'm really excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, but I am excited. I've got all of them, uh, all six. I'm trying to hold them in a way that's actually aesthetic and it's not working. So I've got all six liners. They all shift different shifts. So many people have got like lovely things to say about these eyeliners. I don't typically use eyeliners a lot. I use the Colourpop Cream Gel liners in my waterline. I don't usually 
use metallic and shifty ones however i'm thinking these could provide like such a good detail and actually be like an all over the lid sort of crayon or like detail or like something going on i think that this could really push me out of my comfort zone look how pretty that packaging is like i said i'll show you everything up close but my god oh my god they're so shiny they're so shiny okay well i picked up all six of these i'm not gonna lie i try to pick up as many bundles discount codes whatever i can to avoid spending the most money let's get to the other stuff um we're gonna go here whoa we're gonna go for this what's this these are the quads that i wanted to purchase these are so pretty sorry because i'm seeing it in real time i want to just observe this is really nice this is like a textile gcse textile piece i love it i love it so this is cold brew and it's just like these really nice cool toned browns so that one metallic this is such a nice like um i was gonna say trio because it's not a trio it's a quad such a nice quad for like for me for work to be honest because i could just throw this like throw that through the crease pop that on the lid that's a really nice everyday look for me. I really like neutrals. I really like colour. I like all makeup. And this one is, this is Black Jasmine. Yeah, this is called Black Jasmine. This packaging again, I'll do all close-ups of everything all in focus because apparently my camera's not doing it right now. Um, and swatches. Oh, that's silver. Oh, it's adorable. I love it. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I can't wait to swatch those. That black is appealing to me so much because Kaleidos do an amazing black in... I think it's the Futurism sci-fi palette. I don't know if, they, I don't think they do that one anymore. It's like the green one, the Gemini dupe. Um, so that black looks like it could be as black as that because that black there, that was really, really black. It was like the black as the blacks. So we've got those two quads. Next up we have, I think these two are, okay, these two things are together. I didn't, well, not together, but like they're the same. So whatever they are, let's open them together. Oh! Oh, this feels like oh my god okay so this one is the glowing iris oh my god this feels so nice sorry like <laughs> this feels the highest of quality my god that was amazing so this is a glowing iris those colors are so beautiful it's kind of like a cool toned periwinkle lavender sort of mix really really lovely i like in these quads that you've got three mattes and one metallic i just feel like it's such an easy look like this could be a beautiful matte in a corner outer corner crease in the lid like diffusing brow bone shade like really really nice also the packaging for these is really really luxe this metal hardware you'll see up in the close-ups is really really sturdy and the packaging just feels lovely the other one we've got here is called flowing haze Ooh, i just love how they're like same but different like this one's more blue this one's more purple and in the other palettes like this one's more like dark and this one's more ready so you can distinguish them without the boxes um but hang on this one flowing haze oh, again the packaging is stunning oh oh it's beautiful again i feel like this is gonna be perfect for work for me like this is just such a easy throw on the eyes look but still really pretty oh, i'm really excited to put these on the face i just love kaleidos i love their quality i just absolutely love them i also love that these look like little uteruses i don't know whether that was intentional but um we live we live okie dokie next up i told you there was a lot i think we've got blushes because i remember ordering oh wait what's this okay we'll come back to that i'm a bit confused i know i ordered a lot of blushes so i'm just gonna get all the blushes out okay so i've just got them all out of the bubble wrap you can see that all of these blushes like do take a different form in terms of the box like you can see that each color is represented through the box and that's a really really nice touch like that is an expense they didn't have to do and on the back can i even do this properly you can see all the shades that i'd picked up before I even get into them so that's really nice let me just take them all out of the packaging first okay so the first thing i want to say is they tried to replicate the colors in the lace as well i don't know if i'm close enough for you to see i don't really want to see my chip nails but like i think it is what it is they've tried to replicate the colors into the packaging themselves but it's not as distinguishable as the boxes which i have here the reason they're stacked so perfectly in order is because there's no names on the back of the blushes now if you're not on youtube if you are literally just consuming your makeup you probably don't care what shade name or what label is on your blush like at the end of the day you probably don't really give a monkeys as someone who produces content and likes to refer to products and puts it in my description bar um it's annoying it's annoying so i'm gonna i don't really want to keep the boxes but I think I'm going to have to on the basis, or maybe I can just keep up, keep the card. Maybe I can just cut it and then just slot it in with its slot. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna have to figure out something or just get a label maker and just put 
the label on the back because there are a few things here including those quads with the lace i'm sure it's probably to do with the glue like not sticking if i'm perfectly honest it's probably something like that because these have stickers um but that's a little bit annoying for me because i'm not going to, be able to refer to the blushes as easily it's going to be a bit of a hunt but never mind so let's quickly go through them first up we have the shade dreamwalk which that is a bright ass pink i love how it flips over by the way so it comes with a mirror and it flips right way over I love the little details. That is a bright ass pink. I thought this would be a good dupe for that Dior blush that no one can get their hands on and it looks amazing but I would just rather have it in a Kaleidos formula and support an indie brand as opposed to Dior. I'm not like bashing. I would love the Dior blush but like it's really expensive and this one was actually cheaper. So really love this pink. I'm not sure if the camera's actually picking up as pink as it is. Like that is pink. Very pink. Next up we have the shade Ecstasy which oh what a beautiful coral blush this is a really beautiful like peachy coral i'd say actually probably more pinky coral it's a pinky coral really really nice reminds me of flamingos i love it next shade we have is joyride which is a lovely lovely like caramel brown this might be a touch too dark for me but what i was expecting with this one i do actually now thinking about it i remember picking this up because i was umming and ahhing about this one and another one of the blushes the rest of them i was like really excited but i wanted to pick up something different and i felt like this is going to be really good draping for summer when i'm a little bit more bronze and i don't necessarily want to do the whole nine yards of like bronzing everywhere i think i could just like drape this across the cheeks add some warmth to my face and it can just be like one of those one and done products where it's a blush but it's kind of bronzy looking but it's not contour it's not too much it's just like a nice flush of color that makes me look nice and tanned so that's why i picked up joyride i really really like the packaging of these this is called sanguine i mean it's very red you can see it's very deep this is going to be like i'm gonna have to just touch my brush in it and swish it on um vive do a blush like this i don't know what it's called I can't remember it's like sangrino sangrini i don't know what it's called um sangria maybe not i don't know but this like whiny tone of blush for me i feel like i avoid because i'm scared of it and I, you know it's one of those things where it's like when in rome let's just pick up the blush i've never tried their formula so hopefully i like it but i'm pretty sure i will it's kaleidos i have not not liked a single thing they've ever come out with so i mean i can't say that for a lot of brands so that's pretty good going um and i feel like this whiny toned blush would be really good as like a statement when i've got like barely any eyeshadow on maybe just like a nice little glitter like new moment a nude lip and this is like the moment i feel like if this is combined with too much makeup like i've got on today i'll look like coco the clown not the vibe we want to go for but i really want to experiment with like sultry vibes or even if i was to go for something like dark and smoky really cool nude like concealer lips almost and then this like draped up around here i think that's gonna look stunning hopefully it's all in my mind and then finally we have the shade sunburnt which interestingly looks like another one of those shades which one was it yeah these kind of look very similar i mean this is far more pink and this is far more orange when you put them together but mm, did i need both of these probs not that was a bit of a faux pas on my part oh well i'd say this one's more of an apricot coral like they're both corals but that one was definitely more pink leaning coral this one is more of an orange leaning coral it's like the nail polish color everyone used to apply on the nails for summer it's that sort of color i really like it i like the fact that the packaging's really interesting really different i do like that they've tried to make them somewhat different colors um the only thing i don't like about this so far is the fact that i don't have the names but that could just be like a youtuber thing or like a content creator thing um not a problem i'll make it work i'll find something okie dokie what have we got left here we've got three things left i think here let's go for this okay what's that activated eye primer wait is that an eye primer oh i bought another eye primer go me let's just pick out the last two things here because i don't want to keep picking up this box i know what this is this is the gifted highlighter so i have wanted this for quite a while when they released this i was like oh, i really want it but the thing is is when you're making an order from abroad or where you're going to pay customs like i don't want to buy 30 pounds worth of product and then have to pay 30 pounds worth of customs i want to buy 100 pounds worth of product and i know that sounds really bougie but like that's just my mindset so this gifted highlighter i've wanted since it came out but genuinely like I would, again, I'd rather wait till I can just get everything in one big go than buy like one thing here, one thing there. And then actually it's just costing more money, if that makes any sense. I've got the Prophecy highlighter and I adore it so much. I love Kaleidos highlighters. I think they're so different. I think if you're like a natural makeup wearer and you don't 
like texture on your face or like glitter or shimmer or anything like that I would probably say that these aren't for you but honestly their highlighting formula for me is really smooth I am nearly 26 so I have got somewhat youthful skin however I still do have texture I'm not 12 um, <laughs> um but these highlighters I think are so unique. We are seeing more of these now in the industry of like multi-chrome highlighters. I still think highlighters take the cake. I think Prophecy was such a hit for me and I love Prophecy highlighter. I need to pull that out and use that again. That I thought Gifted would be a great addition to my collection. And yeah, it's just like such a nice little tin. It's beautiful. I just love it. I love it. And then of course I picked up an eye primer. I'm going to leave this in the box for now because I've already got one on the go. Um, I'm about halfway. Like when I squeeze it, it's full of air right now for some reason. When I squeeze it, I'm about here. Um, and I know like I'm probably not going to use this anytime soon, like very quickly. But I feel like by the time I use this up, I want to just have this in my arson rather than arson. Is that the word? Arsenal? Arson? No, Arson's Fire. Arsenal? Oh god, I don't know. I want to have this in my back pocket because um, I really like this eye primer. I really, really do. And I use it like on days where I'm not even filming and it's just like a really nice opaque kind of covers the veins and everything. So I picked this up just as I'm making an order, so why not? And then finally we have this lip kit, which I don't remember picking up. Thinking about it now, I don't know why I didn't pick up the um, other lip kits, like the two that came out most recently. Maybe they weren't in stock. I don't know, why did I not pick those up? That doesn't make any sense to me. This one is called the Smoky Nostalgia. Oh, maybe that's why, because I got like a kit with the eyeshadows. That's probably why this is even in my area. Um, so this is a really, again, once again, like amazing packaging. It, it's obviously the same size as the other ones. I just love these tins. I think they're so collectible and so just like, I just think they're so pretty. I honestly feel like the lighting's not even picking up how beautiful these are and how detailed they are. They're Gorgina. Um, and in here we've got a load of browns and what seems to be like a terracotta brown and really deep brown and very like sandy nudey one. So, excited i'm excited anyway i'm gonna sit here swatch everything for you shove a little bit of music on and then after that i'm gonna just rank all the things in terms of excitement just talk to you about it a little bit and we'll wrap this video up so let's go
as I've been doing lately with all of my hauls, obviously you've seen all the swatches and everything, hopefully that was very aesthetic for you, very pleasurable, very pleasurable for me to when I go back and look at it anyway, so I enjoy doing it. I'm not going to rank the eye primer simply because this is a repurchase, there's nothing really to rank about excitement, it just is what it is. If you've never tried their eye primer before, it does come in a squeezy bottle, it's got a fine tip, it, it is pretty messy, alright, I'm not going to lie to you, like, you'll see my tube, hang on, yeah, it's quite messy see it like it just it spurts out because I don't know why but uh, it's really great it's really thin it's really opaque um, I find on me it does a great job I've got dry skin but I have like the oiliest one single crease in my eyelids ever I have oh it's so annoying it's so annoying but yeah I have like a one crease of oil that settles in my eyelids and I find it helps so I'm not gonna include this in the ranking but I just thought I'd say like honorable mention I'm happy to have a backup because it's a really good primer. First of all, I just want to say I'm really impressed by everything that I tried out. And again, it's the same kind of quality, great packaging, great formula, great looking products, great color stories, something a bit different, very edgy. Um, so yeah, really happy with everything today. When I rank it, it doesn't mean that the necessary thing's bad. It's just like least excitement or I think I'm going to use it the least. Um, yeah, just it's it's nothing. It's not too deep, okay? It's just not too deep is where I'm going at it. The thing at the bottom of the pile I've got here is the Trophy Lip Kit. I've got upside down. The Trophy Lip Kit, this one here. Uh, the only reason I put this at the bottom of the list was uh, not because of formula, not because of packaging. Honestly, it's a colour story thing and you might be thinking, why did you pick it up then? I picked it up because they're really, really unique. I'm really excited to play around with these. I really like the vampy, vampy colours. I always see myself wearing vampy colours like wine blushes and then I chicken out. So I need to commit to that, I think, and just go full vibe. Full vibey. I'm going to love it. But um, let's, let's be honest, I'm not going to apply every day. It's not going to be my going to work lipstick. So... I have put this at the bottom simply because I think it probably won't get the most love out of everything here. Um, but it's really pretty. It's just like the thing that I'm probably going to use the least. Next up was the Glowing Iris palette. This is really, really nice. I love the quality of the packaging of these little quads. The quads are not, I don't think, the same quality. They're good quality, but I'm not sure they're the same quality as I've seen other Kaleidos palettes be. But then maybe that's because I've been swatching so many eyeshadows lately that I've just forgotten what, I don't know, I don't know. It was really good quality, I'm just kind of like, hmm, okay, like it was good. I, I didn't want it to sound negative, like I've got nothing negative to say. It's just not like blowing me out of the water, I'm not wetting my pants over it. And I think that kind of goes for the eyeshadows this time, which I'm really surprised by because I literally wet my pants over the other eyeshadows I've got from Kaleidos. But that just might be that I'm like that with the swatches, I haven't applied these to my eyes. And I genuinely feel so excited, so enthralled. I would never part with a single eyeshadow palette I have from Kaleidos because the quality of my eyes is exceptional every single time. And I may well feel like that about these eyeshadow quads as well. I just haven't applied them to my eyes yet. This colour story is at the bottom because personally I feel like although I love colours, I feel like I'm probably not going to use this one as much as I would like. It's very one-noted, like these two feel quite similar. It's like you're going to get one look every single time, maybe two looks if you just went all matte. But then again, I could dip into this one for this sort of shade and mix and match between them. I just was like the least excited about this one, but I still will use it, absolutely. Next up on the ranking is the Smoky and Nostalgia Lip Kit. Again, this is a really nice lip kit. The colours are lovely. The colours are lovely. I had nothing bad to say about it. I just feel like it's one of those things I'll probably forget that these exist a little bit in my collection. There's nothing that I'm super, super hyped for, but nothing that I'm super complaining about either. It was just like, good. The next thing here, I have the Flowing Haze. Um, I do, I've got to say, I really love the packaging on this one, like this velvety kind of soft feeling. It's really, really lovely, very luxe. I think this is gonna be a lovely going to work everyday sort of palette for me. I think this in combination with the Glowing Iris, is that, have I got that right? Yeah, the Glowing Iris palette. I think they're gonna be really, really lovely quads to go together because it's like a pop of colour and the nudie, or not nudie, um, kind of like neutral tone is the word I'm looking for. Really, really lovely. And I think it's just nice and natural, easy, throw on the eyes. I'm gonna be really comfortable with this and I can see myself using this quite a few times. I really can. Next up we have the Black Jasmine. Love the packaging and the lace. It's gorgeous, kind of reminds me of knitted curtains and or a pair of pants, but you know what, we live. This is really lovely. This is a really, really lovely. I think if you don't normally have like monochromatic black smoky eyeshadow and you want something but you don't want an entire 20 pound eyeshadow palette of this sort of thing, I think this is lovely. You've got something to diffuse and blend that black with. The black is 
chef's kiss like a chef's kiss the greys i'll be honest i they're not the best greys i've ever used again i've not used them on my eyes that is going to be a massive difference like i've just watched them the silver was again a chef's kiss i actually could have bumped this up a little bit the only reason i haven't is simply because i probably won't reach for it every day because i don't wear this every single day but when i do reach for it i'm very excited to, to reach for it. I'm very, yes, very hyped to do like a black smoky eye. I think this is gonna be gorgeous. Next up, I have the Cold Brew palette. The reason I put the Cold Brew palette just above the Black Jasmine was just because I think, just like the Flowing Haze one, this is gonna be something I pick up every day. This is such an everyday palette for me. This is something I can wear at home, uh, going to work predominantly. I'm thinking when I'm at home doing like Zoom calls and stuff. I don't really like to get ready too much when I'm working from home. I don't really wanna wear a full face of makeup if it's just gonna be me chilling. Sometimes I have video calls and just to put a bit of this on the lid and this through the crease, it's gonna make me feel like I'm using my makeup still, I'm having fun, but I'm not going OTT and I'm not putting too much on for the sake of like a really crappy fuzzy camera you know this is really nice I really like it I have nothing bad to say about this it's probably gonna be something I use more than I thought I would next up we have the Mercy lip kit I really really liked this I love a nude pinky lip like this sort of thing is my comfort zone peaches pinks apricots mauve tones, nudes, browns, things like that to me are the most wearable. I don't really wear fuchsias, purples, blacks, deep plums. I like them and there's definitely a time and place for them. But it's not like my comfort zone of every single day. Um, all of these are beautiful. They're all beautiful but these are probably gonna be the ones I pick up the most and I'm excited to use them. A couple of like, I think it was this one and this one, like the grey toned, like the grey toned one, looks really cool and I'm just really, yeah, I'm hyped to put them on and pair them with some lovely eyeshadow. I'm excited to use all of them but I think these are the ones I'm gonna be probably using the most out of all of the lipsticks. So the Mercy Lip Kit. I just love the packaging of these as well. Next up I have the blushes. I'm not going to bother with saying like this shade is my favourite, then this shade, then this shade because ugh, it's just too much ag. I think these blushes are really really exciting. They're probably one of the things that I'm most excited for out of this haul because it's a different formula. It's something different from Kleidos that I've never tried before. You know like I've tried the liquid lipsticks and I've tried the eyeshadows from Kleidos. I've never tried the blushes. Um, and I think that you know the packaging really really luxe really really nice i hope to see more of them i have to say that a lot of the blushes were all very pink toned apart from like i mean even the brown and the red did have some like berry pinks to them i would like to see some more orangey without being coral that'd be quite nice um and yeah i think this one here the like very purpley pink like the dior dupe i think is interesting i don't have a blush like this if i do i can't even think of it right now i'm really interested to see how these are going to play out on my cheeks typically matte blushes aren't like my favorite thing i prefer either like a cream blush or a satin blush just because i don't like my cheeks to look too dry because i have dry skin but i feel like these were really nice and creamy they weren't dusty they were they were quite nice so i feel like these are going to be nice on the cheeks and you know with a setting spray they could look really really good so yeah i'm uh i'm excited i get it on t-shirt at this point i'm excited to play around with these on my cheeks i'm so tied between these final two things because one of them i'm going to use more than the other in second place are the eyeliners when i tell you i had to use three different types of cleansers to get them off my hand. These, these don't come off very well. Um, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I think if you don't take your makeup off properly, first of all, I'm gonna call you out on it. Take your makeup off properly, you're, you're nasty. Uh, makeup wipe is not sufficient in my mind. <laughs> Uh, these are going to be a struggle to get off your eyes. I had to get a really oily cleanser on this. When the oily cleanser was on it, it broke down the top half and then my micellar gel was able to remove the rest of it. I also didn't have to tug to apply these. These are so creamy, so shifty and I'm genuinely quite surprised and I'm really excited to, I'm excited, I need to come up with another word. I'm really hyped to <laughs> play around with these on my eyes. I think not just for graphic liner, but even the waterline or the lower lash line where I don't want to apply shadow. I think I could get out of my comfort zone with these. Also the packaging, chef's kiss. I have no, no complaints. No complaints about these. Really stand out, amazing. And if you've been paying attention, in first place, comes the gifted highlighter. Now, these are far more innovative. These eyeliners are far more innovative and I'm gonna have far more uh, fun probably with these in terms of creating effects, being creative. However, I know how often I use that Prophecy Highlight and I know how much I love it and I know how much I'm just like, slay, slay, especially in summer when the sun is beaming on my cheeks. So I know that probably out of everything here, 
I'm going to use this multi-chrome highlighter the most, which is like the most obscure thing ever because who does that? But this is genuinely so smooth, so fun, and I think I've just wanted this like from day dot. It's so difficult to find fun highlighters that are actually good quality without being really chunky and glittery um, from really good brands that don't cost an absolute arm and a leg. So hyped. Thank you for joining in with my Kaleidos haul. Let me know, do you own anything from them? Have you ever heard of the brand before? Is it the first time hearing about it? If it is, I'm very intrigued because I have a whole playlist on Kaleidos. In fact, I'm going to link their playlist here, right here, somewhere. I want to link it because I love Kaleidos, man. I really do. I'll be really interested to see what Kaleidos released this year as well because last year they released the Flower Punk palette and that was such a cool release. I loved the branding, loved the whole campaign, loved the products, more importantly. Um, and I think they really hit hit the nail on the head they hit the mark there so i'm really uh yeah intrigued to see what they release and uh yeah let me know if you are too so thank you guys for watching once again i really really do appreciate you thumbs the video up if you have enjoyed subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already because you'll be notified of all the videos i upload please take care stay safe and i will see you in my next one bye